From humble beginnings in Swedish TV shows and movies to living a peaceful life outside of the public eye. These are secrets fans need to know about Bill Skarsgård. Swedish actor Bill Skarsgård rose to global superstardom after playing the iconic character Pennywise, an evil clown who preys on children, in 2017's It and 2019's smash hit follow-up, It Chapter 2. Oh. Hi, uh, Georgie. Bill's rise to fame is as obscure as they come, and differs from the traditional Hollywood breakthrough story. Prior to his big break, the tall and handsome thespian had been acting since his early childhood, appearing in various television series, movies, and short films. He became rather well known in Sweden, but there's no doubt that his memorable performance as Pennywise saw him gain a massive worldwide fan base and cemented his place in Hollywood. Bill hails from a family of creative minds and film industry professionals. His father, Stellan Skarsgård, is a veteran actor who rose from the ranks of the Royal Dramatic Theatre and went on to become one of Hollywood's most recognizable stars. Stellan has a total of eight children, and his love for acting and performing has so far rubbed off on four of those children. Yeah, that's eight <laughs> kids, and the first rule is you have to become an actor. Eight children? How many yeah. of them are actors? Um, half so far. Really? So four, yeah. And there's a possibility that more scar... Bill's two most famous brothers, Alexander and Gustav, also followed their father's footsteps into acting. The family's known for its methodical approach to drama and are considered the most prestigious family of actors in Sweden. While they all made their bones in Swedish productions, they eventually crossed the pond and appeared in numerous Hollywood movies and TV shows. As a result, the family is now regarded as one of Hollywood's true power families, up there with the Baldwin brothers, the Wahlbergs, and the Hemsworths. But the Skarsgård brothers are known for their rugged good looks, lean physiques, and their imposing height. Surprisingly, despite standing at six foot three and a half inches, Bill's actually the smallest out of his brothers. Gustav is an inch taller, but Alexander and Sam are the tallest, towering over their brothers at six feet five and a half inches tall. Talk about the heights of fame. Bill may be the shortest member of the brothers, but he's arguably the most famous, thanks to his breakout role in It. When Bill took on the role of Pennywise, he knew he had big shoes to fill, no pun intended. Dynamic comedy master Tim Curry famously portrayed Pennywise in a two-part TV movie in 1990, and the movie was such a hit that it was released as one standalone film. Today, 1990's It is still considered one of the greatest horror movies ever made. And it's safe to say that Curry left an impression on horror fans around the world. This meant that Bill would have to go one step further to leave his own mark on the character. And luckily for horror buffs around the world, Bill was extremely well equipped for such a seismic role. In fact, he stole the show as soon as he auditioned for the part, thanks to his quirky characteristics and a freakishly strange coincidence. When auditioning for the role, Bill curled his bottom lip in a way that resonated with director Andy Muschietti. And this was actually a bad habit of Bill's that he had since childhood. Children would even make fun of him for it. But who knew that one day, it would become a tool in his arsenal of acting tricks. This snarl gave an added touch of creepiness to the character, and Andy was instantly hooked. Additionally, in a bizarre turn of events, Bill and Andy had a moment of clarity when Andy detailed a facial trait that he wanted Pennywise to have. To take the creep factor to an extreme, Andy wanted to digitally make Pennywise's left eye move freely, while the other one stayed completely still. But little did Andy know, Bill was about to pull out one of his famous party tricks. Yup, that's right. Turns out Bill could already make his left eyeball move completely on its own. Okay, now I'm seriously creeped out. Bill explained that this was due to a slightly lazy eye he suffered with his whole life. So what you see in the movie is not CGI or camera trickery but Bill's real eye moving all on its own. Gross. It just got a whole lot creepier, didn't it? Speaking of creepy, since Bill's meteoric rise to stardom, he starred in some absolute gems in the horror genre. 2022's horror spectacular, Barbarian, is already on its way to becoming a true cult horror picture for the history books. In the film, Bill plays Keith, a young professional on a business trip who books an Airbnb only to find it's been double booked and he has to share it with a complete stranger. From here on out, the movie's full of twists and turns, 
and delves into heavy subject matter that most horror movies don't normally address. An element that drew Bill to the project when he first read the script. When speaking with Screen Rant Plus for an exclusive behind the scenes video, Bill said he found the script compelling and unpredictable. Bill's a true lover of cinema and like any great actor, he chooses his roles very carefully. He's proven that he can play cold-hearted villains with ease, while a stellar performance in John Wick Chapter 4 as Marquis, a senior member of the High Table. When speaking with Total Film, John Wick Chapter 4 director Chad Stahelski explained how Bill picked apart the script and requested to play Marquis. Chad said, I was actually contacting Bill for a different part. After he read the script, he came back and went, I want to play the Marquis. And I was like, really? He's like, oh yeah, that's where all the fun is. It seems Bill has no fears of being typecast as a villain and chooses his parts based on what truly resonates with him. Thinking there is a way out of this world for you, Mr. Wick. There is not. The table will honor its word. You will have your freedom. Besides, there's no chance of a typecast anytime soon because Bill's about to bring back the beloved anti-hero, The Crow to the big screen in director Rupert Sanders' reboot. After the success of the original movie in 1994, The Crow reboot's been a complete mess of a project, with dozens of actors in the running to play the role over the years, including Mark Wahlberg, Bradley Cooper, Jack O'Connell, Robert Pattinson, and even Bill's brother, Alexander Skarsgård. At one point, the movie was planning on shifting to a female character as the lead, but after Bill wowed the studio with his role in It, he landed the lead role. At this point, it's safe to say that Bill's well on his way to becoming one of the true greats in Hollywood. Outside of acting though, Bill's pretty quiet and reserved. He stays away from social media, but does have a lucrative side hustle career modeling. His early modeling days saw him work with brands like H&M and Icon, and since then he's risen to work with giants like Vogue. Also, Bill's creative skills don't begin and end with acting. He's shown an interest in writing and directing as well. In 2022, he wrote and directed a short film titled Soul of a Man, starring his father Stellan and his brother Gustav. This indicates a strong desire to one day write and direct feature-length movies, because it's a tactic that many actors often use to demonstrate their skills to Hollywood big dogs. As far as his personal life goes, Bill hasn't shown much desire to extend his ever-growing family tree to the extent that his father has, but he does have a daughter with his actress girlfriend Alita Moorberg. His daughter was born in October of 2018, but other than this, not much is known about Bill's personal life because he loves his privacy. So from living a peaceful life outside of the public eye to humble beginnings in Swedish TV shows and movies, those were secrets fans need to know about Bill Skarsgård.